Let's learn about the neural control of breathing. Our respiratory systems must constantly adjust to meet our body's demands. Information must travel from the nervous system to the diaphragm in order to control breathing. There are several paired respiratory control centers located in the brainstem. These are specifically located in the pons and medulla oblongata. The respiratory centers in the medulla are called the respiratory rhythmicity centers. These consist of two groups of neurons called the ventral and dorsal respiratory groups. These areas send information to the diaphragm and intercostal muscles in order to control breathing. The dorsal respiratory group is always functioning during breathing. It works to regulate breathing rate and rhythm and is sensitive to blood pH, carbon dioxide, and oxygen levels. The ventral respiratory group is involved when breathing demands increase, such as in forceful inhalation or exhalation. It works with the dorsal respiratory group and has connections to the accessory muscles of respiration. There are also respiratory centers located in the pons. These are called the pontine respiratory group and the apneustic center. The pontine respiratory group receives information from higher centers in the cerebral cortex, limbic system, and hypothalamus, and sends information to the medullary respiratory centers to adjust the depth and length of breathing. The apneustic center is active during inhalation and also works with the medullary centers to adjust inhalation. Higher brain centers are also involved in breathing. The cerebral cortex, limbic system, and hypothalamus send information to the brainstem centers in order to regulate breathing. The respiratory centers in the brainstem communicate with the spinal cord. Information exits the spinal cord at three spinal nerve roots, C3, 4, and 5 which contribute to the phrenic nerve that innervates the diaphragm. Information also exits the spinal cord and travels via the intercostal nerves to the intercostal muscles that help to expand and contract the thorax during breathing. The respiratory system is constantly adjusting our breathing in order to keep oxygenated blood flowing to our cells. We hope you have learned something about the neural control of respiration and see you next time.